my first introduction to Bob Slay was actually watching it. 1984, Sarajevo, and I remember being kind of spellbound by these guys running off the top of the hill and the speed and just the whole thing excited me at the time. And then it was another three or four years that my first introduction to the game came. Larry Tracy, he, he put this note on boats in Henley to start up a team. Anybody who was competing was eligible, more or less from his point of view, to try out for bobsleigh. Siobhan um, reached out to me, Siobhan Howie, to, to think about um, getting involved in bobsleigh and, and yeah, I didn't know anything about bobsleigh <laughs> at that time, but certainly had I'd like to think it was the drive and the competitiveness to get to that, that um, elite level of sport regardless. It kind of tapped into a competitive nature that I had and so had the rest of the team and we were focused on trying to make the next Olympics. This was walking out to compete for the first time in, in the Winter Games in Vancouver it was incredible. Alongside the track it was just packed with spectators and kind of a bit overwhelming and emotional because there were so many Irish people there unexpectedly so <laughs> but we weren't expecting that obviously our, our most of our family had travelled because of long distance so, so it was really, really emotional I suppose to be at the top of the track on that first day. At the time it didn't seem like it was a, a huge achievement but I think um, looking back on it it was a very unlikely sport to start off the Irish campaign of Winter Olympics. When I look at the other athletes um, you know, Terry McHugh, Pat McDonough, the, what they've achieved and you know, I respect and think that's amazing so I'm like, oh yeah, I'm actually one of those people so uh, it, you have to do two games and different, two different sports definitely um, is, is something I suppose yeah, that very few others can say so definitely um, highlight of, of sport if not life experiences.